Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. I am your Filipino friend and planting orchids and plants. So if you love orchids and some other plants, this channel is for you. And today's video, I'm going to show you using the bromeliad plants as my landscaping design. So okay, dear friend, this is the area that we are going to landscape using our bromeliad plants and let me show you the whole area and as you can see there are some outdoor tiles that that need to remove so later i will remove that all and let us take a walk in this uh, area and there are some snake plants that i need to remove and transplant to a small pot and as you can see, this area need to clear up first before we do the landscaping design with our bromeliads. Okay, so let us go back in this uh, area. And as you can see, I already planted some of the bromeliad. And in here, I have a ton of bromeliad pups that we are going to use for our landscaping design and this came from one of the garden in front of the house and instead of uh, to, uh, throwing this I better use it in here and uh, we need to remove these dry leaves and later we will uh, separate that with our pruning tools and so far this will be enough to fill up that area or space and this is the uh, result now of our landscaping so i didn't show it the process because i don't want to take your time too long i don't want to waste your time so in here i just want to show you that this type of bromeliads is good as well for our landscaping design so as you can see it is aligned now close to the rocks on the outside and in the inside i have some santan uh, plants or ixura so here so let me go back again in that area so as you can see it gives a uh, green color now unlike earlier it is uh, there are some pile of tiles and some other stuff like rocks but now it has a big difference now and also even into uh, into the wall as you can see so because there are some of excess of our bromeliad so I better plant it in here so someday once that uh, they become bloom then it looks uh, prettier and according to the study that bromeliads are good at removing toxic chemicals from the air and let me show you the exura or santan so and soon the flowers will start to to bloom and this is the next one and on my next video i will show you how to do the propagation of that but uh, let me give you some explanation about the life cycle of these uh, bromeliads so this is the mother plant of our bromeliads as you can see and then there are two pups two bromeliad pups from their mother and bromeliads only bloom once but however the blooms last an exceptionally long time um, four months or even up to a year and after you've enjoyed your bromeliad bloom for many months then you may start to notice it by browning or losing petals 
and that's the sign that your plant is reaching the end of its blooming cycle and at this point there's nothing you can do but to save the flower but don't worry there's still bromeliad pups that will come out to the mother and I'm using the pruning tools prun pruning shears to remove the pups so to divide it properly and then you always be careful with that because the edge of the leaves is so sharp and so but at this time I just hold only on the on the trunks of the bromeliad pups so it will be safe to do that and before we end up with our video today I just want to say thank you again and I hope you learned something new and the life cycle of the bromeliads and keep safe at this time and love one another thank you so much guys see you see you again on my next video and if you want to to request with your plans that you, that you want me to make a video or if you want to feature that video in here just comment below and i will uh, deal with that and thank you so much again enjoy the music